everybody and welcome back to my channel. So, alam ko namang inaabangan nyo talaga lagi to yearly ang Chinese New Year Feng Shui with my Feng Shui Master Ahia Johnson dito sa Sunrise Feng Shui sa Binondo. Ngayon aalamin natin kung ano yung mga pampaswerte, ano yung mga malas, and ano yung mga signs na super swerte and not so swerte. So Year of the Dragon. So siguro pang malakasang taon to this year kasi ang mga dragon kilala sila na power nalilink sila sa mga opportunities and sila talaga ang pangmalakasang sign like sobrang sikat talaga sila so sana this year we will have all the opportunities na meron na pwede natin i-grab para maging maswerte tayong lahat so i'm year of the horse and and just si Sisi Kami Sisi Kami is year of the dragon so, uh, dragon year of the rooster <laughs> Sorry. This year, it's a reset sa lahat ng mga zodiac si signs. Si Johnson ka ba? Hindi. Nalalaman ko. Ni-research ko eh. So, kumbaga, 12 years na cycle na siya. Natapos natin ng 12-year cycle. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Sana, okay na this year. Can we start it from the top? <laughs> So, ayan. Excited na ako malaman kung ano ang ating forecast for this year. Yes. Okay, yeah. are you ready? Let's go! Let's go! Andito na kami. Mag-update ulit kami this year. Kasi last year, natamaan talaga kami ng bonggang-bongga ni Sisi Kami. Um, Pinaka-challenging kasi the number one kalaban ng rabbit, which is the rooster. Sisi Kami! <laughs> Kaya abangan natin kung ano ang forecast for this year. Ayan for the year 2024. Year of the Wooden Dragon! Sa so, Wooden Dragon, so sinasabi naman natin kahit pa paano kasi total ang preach natin pa natin is to think positive, to be positive as much as possible. So, so pwede natin sabihin na ang dragon represent for three things. Power, okay, prosperity, and also abundance. <gasps> abundance, yeah. I yeah. love it. Power, prosperity, abundance, <laughs> abundance, I think this is gonna be our year. Yes. So when you talk about power, pwede natin sabihin in terms of career, influence, energy. Pwede natin sabihin na maraming born leaders this year. In a way, medyo talagang magmamayapag yung mga leaders, okay? Pwede natin sabihin na it's a good year in terms of career and influence. Okay, and in terms of abundance, syempre, most more money luck, okay, more investment, and prosperity naman, pwede rin may growth. Although, yun lang, <laughs> it's a little imbalance this year. Kasi ang chart ngayon, kulang sa tubig. Really? Oh, so, kapag sinabi natin may nang water, medyo mahina din sa kalma ang mga tao ngayon. So, mataas ang conflict problems, mataas ang mga tension, may mga away or gulo. So, we need to be more careful talaga pagdating sa emotions natin. Pag sinabi mong power, power struggle. Everyone wants to become a leader. Sino na magiging subordinate? Sino magpapalo? Yes. So, medyo in a way, maraming laban. Ah, maraming away, maraming conflict din yes. this year. Naku, mm. bumubuga ng apoy yung dragon. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, scary. So, ano gagawin para, yeah. para walang conflict? Uh, ako nga, as much as possible, kailangan kontrolin natin yung emotions natin. Kung hindi natin makontrol yung environment because baka medyo may mga provoke, pinoprovoke tayo, huwag natin patulan. Total, lagi ko tinuturo nga eh, DHB, define your higher value. By thinking positive, feel positive and act positive. As much as possible, always positive lang. Kahit na hinahamon ka na, tawanan mo lang, Oo. makalala lang siya maasar. No? Oo, maasar siya. Baliw ba ito? <laughs> yeah, pero at, at least on that, on that part lang, hindi ka mapupunta dun sa era niya na puro away lang. Mm. And alam naman natin, syempre, pag tension, away, medyo iinit ang ulo natin. It can also cause a lot of health problem. Diba? Kasi lack of water also, bumababa yung immune system natin. Kaya we need to be more careful. Kaya medyo nakikita po natin yung latter part of the last year. Yes. Medyo nagpapakita na yung kunya, lack of water, immune system problem. Kaya medyo dumadami mga flu cases. Diba? Ako, Inansya. nagkakasakit ako lately. My gosh. <laughs> Physically and emotionally. Charap <laughs> siya. <laughs> Ngayon ang top 5 lucky signs for 2024. So let's start on the so pinaka top one. Okay, which is the people who are born in the year of the rat. Year yeah. of the rat? Yeah, so year of the rat. Oh, okay. si Ray! <laughs> Ray! Yeah. Rat, rat! Oh my gosh! Kaya naman pala na mamayag pag si Johnson. Congrats sa lahat ng mga daga. Masasabi lang natin sa mga year of the rat kasi kaibigan nila yung dragon. So there's a lot of good network. 
connections for them. Tapos maganda rin yung money lock nila for this year. Wow! So, for more ng Year of the Rat. Congratulations! <laughs> yes, ano then, naman ang second? Second is the Year of the Pig. Wow! Yes, okay. Para, Papa! Minsan ko lang marinig yung mga Year of the Pig. Yes, si Papa, Papa. si Ate Chris. Si Ate Chris. Yes. yes. Uh, oh, sana okay. ano, mag-okay na yung health ni Ate Chris. Yes, so, ano so naman much ang healing. Mga yeah. ano sa kanila, mga yeah. magagandang mangyayari this year. In terms of healing energy, so medyo maganda yun, no? Uh, healing energy, good network din, marami rin sila mga network and connection. And also, para sa mga year of the pig na medyo naghahanap ng mga opportunity, this also is the right year para to find it. Ganyan, gusto mo matuto ng additional talent or skills, ganun. or you want to connect with networks, baka mga taong pwedeng makatulong din sa'yo. Ano naman ang top three? Yeah, the third. number three naman is the year of the ox. Year of the ox! Oh! Sisi Twinkle! <laughs> Sisi Bazoo! <laughs> Sisi Jot! Sisi Jot! <laughs> year of the ox! So because of the number six star, meron kami tinatawag na like a heaven star or manifestation star. Okay, so that means this year, kung meron sa mga iniisip or pinaplano, dapat i-execute nyo this year. Huwag siya magpapadala sa emotion lang niya. Dapat mas more maging confident to take the steps. Ganon siya. Ah, i-manifest nila kasi I-manifest. mangyayari talaga. Yes. Ay, ang oh, wow, galing. Sure, Fourth naman natin is the year of the tiger. Tiger! Yes. Ati Heidi! Heidi. Yeah. So sa mga year of the tiger naman this year, also malakas din ang number 6 star. So maganda rin yung kanilang mga heaven star or maganda rin yung manifestation. Pero yung alam medyo ingatan lang ng mga tiger in terms of yung emotion na kasi ang mga tiger palaban. Ang sinasabi natin kanina, huwag ka magpapaprovoke as much as possible for this year. Pero ang tiger kasi, pumatol na yan. Bago pa nila naalala na, ay huwag pala ako papatol. <laughs> yeah, medyo control lang yung emotions. Wow. Amazing. Congrats, Tiger Top 4. <laughs> top 5. And the number 5 naman is my Year of the Sheep or Year of the Gold. Ah, oh, Sheep! Si oh, Wala sheep. tayo sa Top 5! Laglag <laughs> tayo sa Top 5! <laughs> Laglag kami <laughs> sa ano, semi. <laughs> wow. Ano naman ang maganda sa kanila this year? This year naman para sa my Year of the Sheep kasi no, we can say na in terms of network and connection, marami rin sila. Which is alam natin na mga Sheep, magaling sila in terms of relationship. So there's a lot of like good things pwede makalapit sa kanila, helpful people, or baka sila mismo makakatulong din sa iba. So they become a nobleman to others also. Oh, wow. Like that. Although there's a warning sa mga year of the ship lang, huwag magagaran for this year. Minsan ng mga ship kasi para silang ate, kuya, ng ibang tao, o oh, sige ako bahala sa'yo, ganun. Mamiya gamitin yung pangalan niya. Sa uh, ma-fraud, mga yeah, ganun. Ma-fraud. Yeah, or name drops, name drops, or baka matanggled yung pangalan niya sa mga kasalanan, hindi naman sa kanya. Sa kanila. Oh, like OMG, that. mag-ingat lang talaga. <laughs> Di ba Year of the Dragon? Bakit hindi number one yung dragon? Basically kasi pagka dragon ka, tapos sarili mong taon, no? meron tayong tinatawag kasi na mixed luck energy. Okay, pwede natin sabihin, yes, it's your year, malakas yung power and uh, recognition sa'yo. Pero the problem lang, lahat na mata, sa'yo rin nakatingin. Uh, Kung pagpanahon mo ngayon, all the good you get, all the bad also you get then. Ganun siya. Kaya mga dragon, iniingatan ko sila sa emotions po nila. So ano naman ang top not so swerte this year? Yung this pinaka, year. pinaka top one not so. Uh, year of the dog. Year of the yes. dog. Kasi siling number one kalaban ng dragon. So, John, John Paul. This year, since conflict ang mga dog, di ba marami mag-alaga ng mga aso? Yes. So, Hindi rin maganda mag-alaga ng dog? Actually, super ganda po nung tanong niyo po. Bakit? Kasi normally, when we talk about like yung mga astrological sign, these are the astrological sign lang. Like dog, year of the dog, year of the dragon, like that. Ngayon, yung mismong dog itself is a pet. Yes. Live energy uh-huh. siya. So ngayon, ang tanong, kailan pinanganak yung dog? Pag this year siya pinanganak, then the dog is year of the dragon. Oh. Ah. Okay? So that means, wala po, mali po yung mga sinasabi ng iba po na, oh, pag dragon ka, bawal ka mag-alaga ng dog, uh-huh. kasi kalaban mo yun, wala pong ganun. So minsan, no, di ba, kaya may minsan may kasabihan tayo na parang mas maganda mag-alaga ka ng isang pet, di ba, na parang uh, medyo pasok sa birthday mo, kasi yun yung kapag medyo mahina yung energy mo, tapos tama-tama, medyo sabi natin introvert ka, hindi ka oh. makahanap ng tamang friends, yes. pwede ka mag-alaga lang ng mga pets na medyo pasok doon sa year sign mo rin. Ang ilan ako? Ah, yeah. Okay. Number eight Why ako. Na- One good thing with the horse this year, still, network connection, tuloy yan. Kaya projects, no need to worry. Tuloy pa rin. And one good thing naman, the horse, kasi they're very well known for, like, alam mo yung parang passionate person. Yes. Pag gusto, go, 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 go. Laging ganun yan. Sige lang, go tayo, yes. di ba? Ganun siya. Kaya, yun yung one good thing about the horse. And kung titignan natin, meron tayong kasabihan sa Chinese na long matching siya. 
dragon horse activeness. So, with the combination of the horse and the dragon, di ba? Ah, Alam mo naman yung pag din yung projects natin. Ah, compatible like, yeah. din naman ang, compatible ang horse, horse and the, and the dragon. dragon. Yeah. Money, projects, and other things, okay pa rin ang horse. Ay, wow. Although, kung mga yun, ang tanong, bakit ko binaba ngayon yung horse? Yeah. Kasi mayroon tayong mga ilang things na kailangan Bantayan. Ano yun? Ay, nakakakaba. Ayoko naman yan. Ano yun? Ito na naman ang Ito, libro. Alam mo, nagiging totoo yan eh, yung mga sinasabi ni Johnson. Ano ano mga iingatan? Okay, yeah. So, so far, no, yung, um, number one ingatan talaga natin ng horse is that meron kasing robbery star ang horse. So, ang problema kasi when you talk about robbery, hindi lang naman pera ang ninanakaw. Pwede ang trust. Ay! Diba? Yung mga ganun klase. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Anong tiwala ang mananakaw sa akin? <laughs> Tapos also mga traitors and backfighters, we also need to be careful din. Mga, mga user, yung mga ganun siya. Maraming ganun ngayon. Mm, so kaya medyo biting, may ingat ka lang. Shocks, yeah. magkakaroon pala ako this year ng trust <coughs> issues. So, so like another thing ha, para din sa horse, kasi meron din tayong distraction star. When you say distraction, medyo mabilis ka madistract. Yung mga ganyan, umawala sa focus. So kaya medyo mag-ingat din tayo in terms of mga accidents, yung mga ganyan siya. Pero kung napansin mo lang this year, siguro, yeah, sige, go lang tayo sa mga projects natin. Pero yung mga risky sports or other mga adventurous or something mga Wag risky mga stand, ingat lang muna tayo for this time. Uh, bawas pa lang muna sa hashtag yeah. Kim Adventure. Sa uh, rooster, tatlo yung ingat na natin. Oh, no! <laughs> dito One good thing naman is still, the secret friend of the dragon is the rooster. Yes. So marami pa rin tayo mga support na pwede yung makuha. And one good thing kasi, yun, when you say about network and connections, Ang dami pa rin mga taong, alam mo yung parang nandiyan lang sila magsusupport pa rin sa atin. Ganun oh, wow. siya. Yeah, okay. So, um, yun nga, kasi tatlong ingatan natin this year. Number one is money loss. So, medyo no, mag-ingat tayo that part. May robbery ako, may money loss. Kaya mag-ingat tayo. <laughs> Magkandado muna tayo sa bahay. Number one, siguro, when you talk about money loss kasi, hindi lang naman siya yung sa spending, but sometimes kasi baka wrong investment. Okay. Okay, so wag lang din tayo masyadong mga high-risk investment. Pwede tayong conservative. Still, malay mo may kumatok sa ating mga lucky investment. Pwede pa rin naman, basta conservative. Virginie po, this year, especially the Dragon Year, this is a warning for everyone. Sobrang lakas na mga scammer, cheaters, swindlers this year. Ay, and I hope, I hope na sana. Ma so, maraming man naloko this year? Medyo marami po. Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh, and the second naman is something to do with accidents din. Yeah, kaya medyo tama lang sa mga travel din natin, medyo mag-ingatin tayo sa mga risky adventure din. Tama, chill yung adventure. Chill! Chill tayo! <laughs> Kasi oh. 8 ka, 9 ako. Sa bahay lang tayo. Sila <laughs> 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 na yung gagala. <laughs> And the third naman is the health pa rin. Kamu yeah. normally kasi pag sinabi natin health no kasi this year kasi medyo mababa lang yung healing energy ng booster. So kapag nagkasakit tayo para mabagal lang yung healing. Yung ngayon saan ba yung nagpo-post doon? Most likely um, most more on sa gastro. Okay. So ito yung medyo dapat ingatan din natin. Ano naman ang yung mga lucky color for this year? We have three lucky colors. So number one color natin for this year is still blue color. Oh. Blue. Yes. Uh, kasi din sinabi natin 'di ba kulang tayo sa tubig this year. So, through the use of the blue color kasi medyo at least magkakaroon tayo ng kalma, mas more magkakaroon tayo ng clarity, good wisdom, ganun. Tapos ano, so maganda rin siya for wealth opportunity. Sa mga naghahanap, mm. magsisik ng mga new opportunity. Pampakalma and seek new opportunities. Yes. Uh, ano naman ang next? Next color is you can use the red color. Red, yes. yes. So, as always. As always and the best. <laughs> the best color yeah. is red. So, mas lalo na papasok na rin sa ito tinatawag na period 9. So, the number 9 kasi is a symbol of fire element. And then the red is also fire element. So, uh, so it's about passion, recognition. Meron ako sinasabi na 3R. Recognition, reputation, and respect. Yun ang makukuha natin sa red. And then medyo, di ba ngayon, kasi people are now going to the technology of fire, which is technology in terms of electricity, or sabi natin digital. Kaya ngayon lahat nasa social media na. So we're entering the mundo na talaga ng social media for now. Yeah. Ang third ah, yeah. yeah. Then third naman is the green because the color of the dragon, wood dragon, is color green. So that's more about para to increase pa yung prosperity and abundance. Blue, red, and green. green. Yeah. ABS, CBN. Oh, oh, ma. Maswerte ang mga kapamilya. Ano mga dapat iwasan this year? Basta ingat na muna tayo sa mga risky sports muna this year. Okay, mga risky adventure. Kasi there's a lot of mga um, 
conflicts and mga disaster problem also. Mas lalo na kapag kulang ang tubig, medyo magalaw ang lupa, may mga earthquake problems tayo this year, meron tayong mga landslide problem this year, so mga ganun eh. So kaya maging mag-ingat din tayo sa mga risky adventure. Ganun siya. Yun ang pinaka-iwasan lang natin. Kalma lang tayo this year sis. Kalma, bahay-bahay. <laughs> this is Achi Jen. Achi Jen. Yeah. Hello. Jen Kagan. Hello. Pero before we start, bigyan mo kayo ng for health. Wow! <laughs> Kailangan namin to. Wow. This is the Seed of Life. Eating seed shop for good health and prevent my illness. Kasi para for good health din siya and for balancing ng emotions, thinking, and also communication. Oh, wow. Wow. Madami. Yeah. The Prosperity <clears throat> Basket. Yes. The, the original <laughs> Prosperity Basket. The yes. For 2024, we have the ano, auspicious dragon with the ribbon. Kasi yun yung pang padala ng good fortune and good luck for the whole year. And this is a family lucky charm kasi ilalagyan natin siya ng bigas. Then we also have mga lucky auspicious <laughs> symbols for good health, for love, for peace and harmony for money, for protection. Yun. Kasi narinig ko kanina yung kwento nyo na maraming scamming. Robbery, di ba? Yeah. Oh, Conflict. yun. Conflicts, uh, arguments. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is the protection coin to prevent arguments. Mm -hmm. Kaya nilalagay natin yun sa prosperity basket para to ano, maintain and to control yung mga emotions natin and to prevent yung arguments within the family. Kasi siyempre yung minsan nagkakaroon din ng misunderstanding, di ba, within the family. So nakakatulong oh. din siya to suppress yung mga ganun na problems. And for the healing hulu, this is for the health and prevent illness. Yun. So, mabilang mo yung holy gourd is 9 pieces. February 9 ng gabi, so prepare natin yung prosperity basket together with the lucky food and the lucky fruits and also the wishing paper. Favorite ko to! <laughs> As in, nangyayari siya. Yes. Then, may isang important din na ingredients. Ah, yeah. The Angpao. <laughs> the Angpao. Oh. So, you put 999 pesos. Yeah. 999? Yes. Hindi ba remember na? dati, lagi natin ginagamit is 8, di ba? Oh, oh, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Yes. siya. Pero dahil binanggit natin kanina na we are entering the age of 9. Yes. 9 is the new 8 na. Yes. Ah, yes. 9 is the so, new yes. 8. So, 9 na ang lucky number? 9 becomes yes, a lucky yes. number. Nine. So, yan. Yeah, lagay niyo lang preparation on the eve ng ano, Chinese New Year. Chinese New yes. Year. So, basta importante, the dining table, is, it should be uh, abundance. Yes. Uh, tapos walang Pwede. makalat sa table. You, you just yep. put yung mga lucky foods and lucky food dito sa table na yun. Yes. Ano ba mga lucky food? Sa lucky food, originally, normally kasi gusto natin number one, something long. Pansit, mga bihon. Pansit, mga bihon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or sa mga modern, gusto din spaghetti. Spaghetti, <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can something do that. Long. Yeah, yeah. Basta something long kasi represent long life. Long so, life. Like that, yeah. Tapos, something round kasi para ibig sabihin talagang maganda yung gulong ng buhay natin tuloy-tuloy dumpling, shomai meatballs mga ganun siya and then chicken is also good yeah. okay, chicken yes okay chicken. kasi flying kaka chicken then, is a symbol for opportunity yes. ah okay. kaya kailangan meron tayo meron chicken, chicken. Yes. 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 Okay. and also fish yeah. Fish. fish is always a symbol of abundance. And also, hindi mawala is the, syempre, yung patamis. Yung the tikoy. Tikoy, tikoy yeah. or something sweet. Something mm. sweet. Para always sticky and sweet, para yung buong pamilya natin, laging stick and harmonious. Yes, yes. Wow. Yung fruits, yung fruits, 13, yeah. Ano, fruits is only five kinds. The, we have the five apples for harmony, and five oranges for protection din, and remove yung mga negativity, and for cleansing. So we also have the pineapple for to welcome the luck. So, limang pineapple din. Pwede lang, pwede rin. Oh. Arjun, ano ka? Add number. One, three, five. Yes. So, yes. you can go with add number. Basta importante, apple, five kinds. Orange. So, we have apple, orange, pineapple. pineapple. We also have banana. Banana, banana is also banana. attracting good luck. How about pear? Pear is okay yeah. then. Oh, oh, five, five, five. Lai, lai, lai. Lai, lai, lai. Yes, yes. Basta always think mo in the sounds like ng fruits na kailangan may good sounds and good vibrations. Yun, pwede tayo mag-prepare. Like this year is yung okay din na dragon fruit, di ba? Yes! Yeah, ah! Fruit. Yeah. Oo nga. Kasi we call it the passion fruit. So it's more on the love fruit. Ah, yeah. damihan mo yung passion fruit. <laughs> dragon passion. fruit, charot lang. Hindi ako lang. From all sides of love, love yourself. Yes, love, love for work, family, love for work. work. Yes, yeah. self-love. Self -love. Yes. <laughs> ano pa mga hahanda? <laughs> ano na tayo barkadahan na kami? Diba ba? Ito na, sinisimula na namin yung Year of the Dragon. Love each other. Yes, yes. <laughs> Kakatabi na yung mga rat, monkey, rooster, and horse. Uh, <laughs> oh nga, ano ang mga monkeys? Sorry yung mga monkeys kasi meron akong power of nine. Ano, <laughs> sa'yo ang power, power of nine? nine. 
yung preparation pala, yung lalagay kayo yung nine dragon sa main door nyo. Ayan! Nine dragon. Anong gagawin? Again, for the nine number, di ba? Yun yung siya yung powerful number. So, we can invite the nine dragon sa aming charm. Sasabit na lang sa pintuan nyo. Nine dragons Ay, well, isasabit sa door yes, for nine. to start the year. Yes, to start to the invite. Year. To invite the energy of the, the energy dragon, of the, the strength, the vitality, auspiciousness, and yung magnifying energy. Yeah, so, lalagay lang natin sa pintuan natin. Ayan, alam na rin yun, yun na. <laughs> Then, also, diba pag nag-i-incense kayo, usually three, di ba? Yes. Yeah, so, now we can make it nine pieces. Ah, nice! Yeah, so, that we can... Reach. Embrace talaga natin yung ang nine. Yung sa wishing paper, nine. Nine, nine, nine na. Oh. Yeah. Basta always remember nine na. <laughs> nine na ngayon ang bagong eight. Okay. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much, Anya and Achi. Ang daming natutunan ng aming mga subscribers. Kaya guys, kung meron kayong mga natutunan dito, comment down below and please follow the socials of Anya Johnson and Achi Chen. Yes, and visit their shop also. Lalagay namin dito. Happy Chinese New Year, Kong Hei Fatshui. Everybody, may we all have a prosperous, abundance, and lucky 2024.